Was a performance-based system better than a system based on wins? That's what I'm going to answer here today. So I've been playing on my Smurf account in comp quite a bit recently. I've noticed I have a very different feeling in comp than I am when I'm on my main account. I've noticed that my priority of winning is not really there compared to the priority of getting better with a certain hero, like Doomfist. I've been using my Smurf to get better at him, and as you'd imagine, it was a rough start. Lots of hate but eventually I started getting a rhythm and winning matches. Still lots of hate though, can't explain why. Now everyone has had this teammate in their match, right? The one that is playing that niche hero and not getting much done and you want them to switch to something more useful, but they don't. I've had my fair share of this as well and I absolutely hate this. I actually understand both sides of the smurfing issue, but that's for another video. So before, with performance base, you could simply pad your stats and not lose that much SR compared to your teammates that were performing poorly on a niche hero. And if you won, then they get like 10 SR while you get 30, right? It's not like that anymore above diamond. It's purely based on whether you win or lose. Padding stats doesn't do anything. So that smurf account running a niche hero likely doesn't care about winning, but about playing a hero they want even if they are performing poorly. So you could put in maximum effort, still lose, and you'd be losing the same amount of SR as the smurf account that's not worried about even winning. And if you win, then you give them the same amount of SR as yourself, who really put in the work to secure the win while they kept securing deaths. So was performance space better? I think it depends on how you look at it. I think for the solo cure, it is really bad. I have a firm belief that the way to save competitive is to find ways to encourage people to group up together and a system purely based on winning over stats does that. See, if you're in a group, there's a chance that you won't get those gold medals you usually would get because everyone is working together. So you can end up not getting as much SR as you would your friends. You'd actually get more SR if you just solo queued and padded your stats. So you're basically punished for playing with a large group on top of the matchmaker putting you against other groups which has its own difficulties. So in my opinion, if you are solo queuing above diamond, then performance based is the better system. Especially on console where the smurf problem is much larger than PC. If you like grouping up with friends, which I think everyone should aim for to get really exciting Overwatch matches, then a win based system is ideal. Actually I mentioned this before, separating solo queue and group queue. Maybe with this idea the solo queue playlist could be the performance based, while the group queue would be the win based. I haven't thought much of the ramifications of a setup like this, but it seems like a decent idea to me. If you want to find people to group up with, especially on console, then join my Discord where we offer free coaching sessions and ways to group up with others. Link in description. Also, I decided to open up a Patreon, so those that would like to help the channel a bit more now have another avenue to support it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.